If that's Paul singing, she sounds very, very similar to Danny. Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing live stream requests here on Twitch. This one's been put forward by Asylum and it's the warning. It's always a good day to do the warning. The song is called 23 and a little bit of a bio that he's given me is that it's actually Paul singing and not Danny. Um, she's worked her ass off with David Bendeth on her vocals and her range. So apparently she's been having a bit of coaching to improve the way she sings. We'll see what it's like when we obviously get into this song in a minute. We know the warning are good. We know that we know the, the, each one of that in, member in this band can sing in their own style because if they've showed us before in different parts when different people were singing different parts. So I can't wait to see what poor song is going to be like. Anyway, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like my videos, then please consider it to like and subscribe. And the link to this video will be down in the description for anyone who wants to check it out by themselves. So without further ado, let's get straight into some more warning. Turn the telly over. Let's get it. I looked at you same as before. What had changed, I do not know. Okay. The thought of you were played in secret It hurt me, but I asked for more mm. Falling down your rabbit hole I like this I kept on biting back what I was feeling I closed my eyes, said you were there Innocently unaware okay. This is interesting. Oh, I love the instrumentation of the arrangement as well. The arrangement's really, really good. I love how the fact is, she's, if that's Paul singing, she sounds very, very similar to Danny. But in my eyes, anyway, in my eyes, in my ears. Um, and that's not a bad thing because obviously the warning have their own signature sound. And you know what? They do not sound like anybody else. You just instantly know who the one in are when they sing. There is no one else who does music like these guys. Uh, I think the message of the song is, um, obviously, she's got it bad for somebody more than they've got it for her. She's not bothered if it breaks your heart, etc. She just wants to be there. Um, and, you know, she's 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 going to miss it when they're gone. Oh. These headphones, they're stupid. I move mid a little bit and they start freaking playing. Um, and I th I've, obviously she misses him, but I think it's more one-sided towards um, maybe he doesn't like her as much as she likes him. I'm going to do a test now. I think if I touch my headphone, it'll start playing. No, but it beeps in my ears. There you go. There must be some sort. There must be some sort of fucking mechanism in my headphones that that you know. <laughs> okay. Mm. Doesn't work to stop him. <laughs> I guess I love you on my own. Obviously, that's self-explanatory. The fact that she will love these people, this person, and on by herself, because she's not getting it returned. 
You know what I mean? Every time he looks at her, she implodes inside. So, you know, it's 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 a one-sided thing, this. I don't know whether this, they are already together or the fact that she wants to be with somebody else. I think that's the message here, but there's there's something... There's some, it's one-sided. She loves this guy more than he loves her. Period. Let's go. Are infatuation, this they're definitely not together, and she wants to be with him, and you know, it's not being returned. <laughs> she's a stalker, sort of thing. Man, she's been a bit of a stalker in that, um, in that album, that fucking full album that I did. Is it Queen of the Murder scene? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Stop me, stop me, stop me. Is it wrong? The is really good. Is it wrong? Is it wrong? Is it wrong? Mm. This is a really good song. She's begging, she's begging in this song to not feel this way. She wants someone to set her free from this. She feels like it's a curse now. You know, she doesn't, she's, it's hurting her all the time that this person doesn't want to be with her. Um, and that's the message of the song. And the 23 is just basically how, how old they were when they were talking about it. Oh, the warning do it again with another catchy song with a great riff and great bass line, etc. This was, you know, are they still classed as an up and coming band? Because I would say if they were still an up and coming band, they're one of the best out there. They're so freaking good. I mean, I think I've been checking the wine out now for about 18 months uh, and I've never been dis disappointed, not once, with their music and their message. Um, a lot of it has been on the edgy side when, when in the Queen of the Murder scene telling that whole freaking story. We won't go into that. We all know that's about. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, they're, they're moving on now. I mean, they were talking to uh, AI in the last song that they did. And, you know, was, I mean, they could be talking to AI. Yeah, you never know. It could be a double meaning. But I mean, I do feel like um, she's obsessing over a different person, and, and it's not, it's not being rescinded. What a great song. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you on the next one.